Hey everyone, I am here with a early flowering plant that you might want to consider for your land because it's doing some cool stuff here. So I'm orienting you, that's our house in the barn. And then this is our old field section. And this is stuff we didn't plant. And so right in the middle, that tall one, you can see has a lot of flowers on it. That is Pussy Willow. I don't know if, it's, if this is a native one or not. A neighbor has one that I think she picked up from a nursery somewhere that could be a cultivar. Um, but Pussy Willow's Salix Discolor, and again, who knows if it's a variety or not, but this one has tons of pollinators all over it. And so I'm not gonna be able to zoom in to show you because my camera is not that great, but I know you can see those little tufts of uh, blooms up there. And I can see bumblebees, probably, so this would be the early queens, and there's all kinds of flies, and there are mining bees, and I'm sure tons of others, but it's pretty tall. Otherwise, I would get up there for you. I need those go-go gadget legs to get me up there. Now I totally just dated myself, right? Because that's not on anymore. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Pussy Willow, pretty cool. And so it comes on down, and then you all know, because it gets those beautiful, it has those fuzzy buds that everybody always wants before they open up for cut flower arrangements. So this will like a little bit of wet areas. And then of course we've got all of these silky dogwoods in here. And then there's your view out to the old field with our little section mode because the woodcock use it and they are here. Okay, so Pussy Willow. And here, let me walk you over here just for a quick set because willows are some plants that completely enchant us. And Steve has been really good about sticking them in all over the place. And look at this right here. That is a willow. Okay, so all the way up. And then let me turn you on the other side. And I'm still learning a lot of these, so I don't know if these are peach leaf or sandbar. Stanley, you would know. <laughs> Steve would know, but I don't right yet, but I will know. Anyways, I just wanted to show you all because willows grow fast and they love wet spots. And you can do even cuttings from them. So seeds, of course, are always best, but if you don't have a problem with genetics or if you're gonna just do a bunch of cuttings from a bunch of different plants, you can have a ton of plants really fast and they feed enormous amounts of Lepidoptera. And then of course the blooms feed all kinds of insects. So willows. Plant them. We're planting more here. Thanks for the inspiration, Stanley. Bye, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine.